it's my moral obligation if I know there are going to be harms from medications, and then I have to speak up about it. Why are we allowing minors to chop off body parts, take experimental drugs in the name of gender identity? I look at my brother and everything seems so easy for him. Do you think you'd be happier as a boy? If you're going to look for anything in this country, you're going to follow the money because it will always tell you the truth. And so I started to look at why was this added to the LGB, the T. The internet plays a huge role in indoctrinating children into thinking that they should change gender. We're here to celebrate Evan. He started his home treatment today. Ooh. So let's give him all our love. Come yes. on. She used to cry, she couldn't sleep. She used to tell mom, I can't handle this pain. And then I felt down, I felt tired, I felt exhausted. I felt, my mom said I looked like a pale ghost. If I were to explore with a person about why they believe they're in the wrong body, my license would now be under threat. Oh, children already know their gender identity, so she knows what's best for herself. This is about you mislabeling people. Honey, when you do it too much. Hold on. Wait, wait where no. are you getting this from? No. I, I need you to leave now. Evie. And then I felt down, I felt tired, I felt exhausted, I felt, my mom said I looked like a pale ghost. I started to become dysfunctional in just about every area of my life. Come to find out, I had two weeks to live. My dad was in pain. She used to cry, she couldn't sleep, she couldn't concentrate after, you know, taking these hormones. This is all coming from the top of society. It's coming with great big gobs of money, millions and millions and millions of dollars being funneled into all our institutions to drive this down into the culture. It's the major corporations, major banks, international law firms, all our big technology companies, governments, politicians, at the highest echelons of Western societies. Why are they all doing this simultaneously? My name is Abigail Martinez. I live in California. She grew up as a happy little girl, that girly girl in the family. She was the most beautiful and happy little girl. second verse flows perfectly now. <laughs> Thanks. Getting better and better. Right? Yeah. My name is Kali Fontania, and I am a former public school teacher of 15 years. Our public schools have changed. Five years ago, there was no students that were identifying as non-binary. Gender fluid was not something that we even knew about. We're also having an epidemic of girls transitioning more than boys. A lot of the children and high, teenagers and high schoolers that are questioning their gender and having gender identity crisis are being driven by the teachers. 
How many parents have the know-how? I've talked to hundreds, if not thousands of parents. Our stories are all the same. It follows a pattern. And that was the first entrance point for me to figure out something's going on at the school. Oh my God, look at this filter. Makes it look like they're Kardashians. We look so good. Yeah, I'm so gonna post this. Ugh, I wish I had a phone. My mom would never allow it. Yeah, she's so weird for that. I mean, she thinks I'd get distracted. <laughs> like me? Yeah, like you. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome back from the holidays. I hope you enjoyed it and are excited about this new semester. So today we're gonna talk a bit about genders. You know, the term gender identity, it was coined by psychiatrist professor Robert J. Stoller in 1964. And then it was popularized by psychologist John Money. He was one of the first researchers to publish theories about how societal constructs of gender influence the individual formation of gender identity. And this is where gender affirming care comes from. In fact, the only study intended to prove this theory of gender identity being separate from biology failed miserably. And that was the study that John Money did with the famous uh, twins, the Reamer twins. One of them had a accident. His penis was burnt off. His parents were at a loss of how to raise him, what to do with him. And they turned to the gender expert at the time, John Money, and John Money told them, not a problem, raise him as a girl. He's only 18 months old. He's gonna need some operations. He's gonna need some hormones, but he will be comfortable as a woman. But Money did not report that his experiment that spanned 10 years was an abysmal failure. He reported that it was a success. Money's theory was widely accepted within psychology and psychiatry and sociology and gender studies was based on his fraudulent research. And he was also the first to establish a clinic where he could perform gender reassignment surgeries for people who suffer from gender dysphoria. Uh, does anyone know what that is? Yes, Sarah. Uh, it means if you're like born as a boy, but you're actually a girl in a boy's body, right? Yes, that's correct, Sarah. Very good. And it can also be the other way around, of course. I always knew I was really a girl, you know why? <laughs> I'm so hot. Billy. Oh, I just went to the salon. Billy. Huh? Do you think you're funny? Um, who's Billy? What do you mean, who's Billy? <laughs> I'm Becky now. This is for real. Why are you even joking about this? Yeah, don't be so disrespectful. We're trying to learn here. Okay, Karen. Hey, hey. You know, what is funny to you might be really serious to someone else. If any of you feel unsure about your gender identity, you should know that it is normal. And we are here to support you. At the age of, you know, 13, I believe is when she was struggling with depression. Hey, how was school, honey? Fine. I made your favorite dish. I'm not hungry. But the depression was pretty bad. What she needed was uh, mental health to find out why she was struggling. Mm. The teen years are a time to explore, right? Experiment, try new things. Figure out what you like. You won't be able to get out there and show the world who you really are and experience all the beautiful wonders of the world. I guess. When did you start feeling this way? I look at my brother and everything seems so easy for him. 
And I just feel confused. Do you think you'd be happier as a boy? I don't, I don't know. Maybe. You should join this club. I think they can really help you for this. Olá pessoal, Emanuele Core aqui. Este vídeo que vocês acabam de assistir são alguns trechos do documentário exclusivo e original da Epoch Times que acabamos de lançar aqui no Brasil, A Transformação de Gênero. Neste docudrama, nós trouxemos histórias em primeira mão de adolescentes que realizaram a transição de gênero e mostramos quais foram os efeitos dessa transição tanto para esses adolescentes quanto para suas famílias. Este é um documentário imperdível que todos os pais precisam ver. Por isso, eu quero pedir a sua ajuda para que este documentário alcance ainda mais pessoas aqui no Brasil. A primeira forma de nos ajudar é assinando a nossa plataforma de streaming, que agora está com 50% de desconto e liberando o seu acesso a este documentário. A sua assinatura é essencial, porque isso não só permite que você tenha acesso a esse documentário e consiga compreender o que está acontecendo e como orientar seus filhos, mas também permite que possamos continuar atuando aqui no Brasil. Nós dependemos da ajuda de nossos assinantes para continuar produzindo nossos conteúdos. E este ano, precisamos bater a meta de mil assinantes para poder seguir com o nosso projeto ano que vem. Por isso, a sua ajuda é indispensável. Para se tornar nosso assinante, aponte a câmera do seu celular para o QR Code que está aqui na tela ou clique no link disponível na descrição. Se você já é nosso assinante ou não consegue nos ajudar no momento com a sua assinatura, mas quer apoiar o nosso trabalho, a melhor maneira de fazer isso é compartilhar este vídeo com amigos, conhecidos e parlamentares que se preocupam com essa pauta, para que essa mensagem possa chegar ainda mais brasileiros. Nós contamos com o seu apoio para continuar a produzir esses conteúdos pautados em verdade e tradição. Desde já, meu muito obrigada por estar conosco nesta jornada.